I needed this. <laughs> I'm trying to lay out and Rio is over here screaming. So the joys of having kids. I thought he was tired, but he's got energy for days. I'm exhausted. Nobody wants to go to the beach? I want to go to the beach. Rio. My twin is next to me. This is my sister. Hey, sister. I'm on my fake yacht. I'm on a yacht. Looks like something that came out of the movie. Real. So beautiful. This is not looking good, guys. I never break out in rashes. <laughs> okay, I want to go home now. Yeah, that was quick. We're going to take a left. Whoa, look at this, Ria. Look at this. Now, this is a Mayan altar. This is honoring the four elements that are giving you a warm welcome, the same as we just did through the ritual. This stands for the water, air, earth, and the fire. It's Rio, correct? Rio. Yep. Rio. Just like River. Yep. Rio, you want to help me open Rio. the door? Push down, buddy. There you there go. You go. Bienvenidos. So cool. Welcome home. Wow. Thank you. Bienvenidos. Woo. Woo. Feels good in here. My wife has hers. Oh my gosh. No worries. Nice seating area. My bag was so heavy. I love this. Wow, it's massive in here. And it's all closet space. Rio, we have a jacuzzi. Oh, Rio's gonna be so happy. The squad is with me. Wearing Jade Swim, and this is an alligator called Come on, let's take a walk on the beach. Oh, what's this right here, Rio? Yeah, that's what we saw earlier. I think you can lay there with a towel. It says no jumping. It says no jumping, but look, fun elements. Photos, laying, y uh, yoga, meditating. What do you think? I think if you get a towel and lay out here, it'll be very nice. This is pretty cool. You can stand up, but no jumping, okay? It's kind of hard when you first get on, right? You, no, I just got on. Uh, uh, what did mommy say? No jumping. No jumping. No bouncing. No, we don't do that. It doesn't say you can bounce. It says family moments, but not bouncing. Just finished 
um, Chiros. Everybody was exhausted, so my husband. Like so my husband and and London went back upstairs. So just Rio and I are taking a walk. We're on the swings. So we're gonna get on this hammock. Rio wants to have some fun. There's only one hammock here, Rio. There's two up ahead. Oh, there is. Are you sure? I think. I don't think so. I thought he was tired, but he's got energy for days. I'm exhausted. Try them. Yeah. How are they? An extra plate. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Try it. Okay. Now you have to try these. Try yeah, it. Blackberries are amazing. Those are one of my favorites. They're sweet and, and sour. Really good. What do you think? I just got avocado with beans. I look so greasy. <laughs> I have on this bronzer today. Look. I'm a little on the greasy side, but you know, it's fine. Let's just say it's heat. It's glow. We're glowing. All right, so we are having breakfast this morning. Um, and then after that, I want to do some paddle boarding since it's nice and calm on the water today. Hey, go ahead. And let, let me eat. I'm really unsure what's wrong with Rio. You got the perfect curls now? What were you trying to do? Get the perfect curls. I'm trying to lay out and Rio is over here screaming. <laughs> the joys of having kids. It's so beautiful out here and I love the fact that there's a breeze. I think it's almost time for me to catch some shade. You hungry, sweetie? <laughs> Why are you ordering lunch? I just asked Rio. Oh, yeah, Come on. I just asked Rio if he was hungry. You ready for lunch? We can have lunch here. What time is it? 11.37. I'm ordering here. I'm Don't not, squirt us, okay, Rue? I'm not really hungry. I just had breakfast. Nobody wants to go to the beach? I want to go to the beach. Rio. Can I see that highlighter? Let me see it for one second. Please. You. Why are you highlighting? Because I like to remember parts of the book that really stand out to me. So I can go back and read them later. I haven't had nachos in forever. London ordered some nachos. She didn't know what she was ordering because she's never had nachos. So she's ordering chips. And honestly, this is delicious. You like it? Really good. Delicious. London, go on your, your knees now. I think you should go on your, um, on your knees. Yeah. And then when you get out there, then you can stand up. That's great. Okay, my turn. All right, we saw a few starfish. I'm gonna put my camera in the water. Okay, I can't see them. I don't know, uh, we have this underwater plastic case I got from Amazon. I can't, I can't see a thing. Also, there's like seaweed down here and starfish, so I'm definitely not gonna, I'm not gonna get out because I don't wanna step on anything. All right, the wind picked up. Um, London was getting pushed all the way out here, so my husband is paddle boarding her back in. I am still out here. <laughs> I found like a really nice, clear, crystal clear part. I'm gonna go paddleboard a little bit over here to this pier over here. I feel like it's a really good workout and I didn't work out this morning. So, ooh, working on my fitness, he's my witness. Boop, boop. Okay, let me get it together. 
just because it's super windy and there's tons of like seagrass over here in this area but so i'm trying to find like these beautiful crystal clear sandy parts i personally like when the beach is crystal clear and i can see my feet i can't I can't walk on seagrass and all kinds. I can't be walking on the ground in the ocean and not being able to see what I'm stepping on because I feel like I am stepping on all kinds of creatures and I am harming the environment. Because there are also um, starfish. And you know you can't touch starfish or they'll die. I think it's something about the oils and especially out in sunscreen. I'm rambling. Okay, let me go over here. It's been a long day at the beach. We went upstairs really quickly, took a shower and then made it back downstairs by seven o'clock for dinner. My twin is next to me. This is my sister. Hey sister. Tonight we are doing the Mexican restaurant in the restaurant. What, what is this called? I think it's, what is it called? Like, this is what I have to do with. What is it? What's the name of the restaurant again? Ita. Ita? Ita. So we have breakfast here. There are two restaurants here. I knew it here. I just did One is Chi-Chi's and that is a Japanese infused Mexican. And then it's Chi-Chi's like a Japanese infused Mexican, right? Um, they said it was like Mexican food made in Japan or Japanese food made in the Mexican style. So it's infused. And then we're on the Mexican side now. So we're gonna try something different. I ordered cauliflower. Um I ordered something else. I feel like everything is really infused. It's not, you're not gonna get those typical tacos that you're looking for. But we had some bread mixed with some green butter that was out of this world just now. So let's see how it goes. Oh my God, I'm a teen and I'm like on my back. I'm so busy. Like I'm so busy looking at Pinterest. So you're not a teen? So you're lying about your age? I never said I was a teen. Your father is 50. Why would I be a teen? Wow. Really? I thought you said you were my sister. You guys, the secret's out. Cats oh have my god. <laughs> he lied. The key to arm wrestling. Alright? The first thing you do, the first and most important thing is break the wrist. You have to break my wrist and then go. So it's not no, so don't do don't do wrist now. Just do arm versus arm. Just do arm versus arm. See this? Arm versus arm. That, the stronger person will always win. Technique wins first. So do wrist. No. Wrist. No. You just broke your own wrist. Break my wrist. Like that. Then you win. So three, two, one. Wrist. No. You have to keep your elbow on the ground. There. As soon as you get wrist, then you go down. So the first part of arm wrestling is always wrist. Three, two, one, wrist, boom. Wrist, there you go. Good morning, I just finished working out. So beautiful out here. Like it really pays to just wake up early and walk around. I didn't meditate yet, but I will do that a little bit later because I got the whole day. So I'm gonna go back upstairs. Um, hopefully my family didn't leave me and go to breakfast already, but if not, all good. I will meet them down there. Gonna take a quick shower, throw on another bikini. And this is officially, I guess, day two. This will be, yesterday was our first full day. And then day before is when we got in. So we, probably day two. It means that like, you wear their clothing and stuff, right? And you promote it. Daddy, watch. Watch this. Because if you do constantly, people will... Rio, you gotta really... Daddy, watch this. Yeah, she was sponsored by Chanel, so she had to wear only Chanel. It depends on what your contract is. Rio, you need me to help you, baby? That's a real thick. Let me, let me, let me help you a bit. Okay, so today all I did really was just sit in the same spot. I, I went from here to like the pool area where there's seating outside and did 
absolutely nothing today. We wanted to go snorkeling, but they were all sold out. I mean, not sold out. There was no more appointments that were available. And of course, me being last minute that I am, I was like, okay, maybe we should go snorkeling. Anyway, we're gonna go tomorrow at two o'clock and hopefully the wind doesn't pick up. Apparently we're supposed to have really high winds tomorrow. So we shall see. And if there are high winds, I didn't wanna go out there, even though it's, I think it's a two minute to four minute ride from where we are straight over to the snorkeling area. And then my husband is also a sailboat snob. Um, because he used to be a sailor and he doesn't like getting on a sailboat unless he's sailing it and I'm like you have to give up control <laughs> you have to relax so today yeah like lots of relaxing I did a TikTok live and just kind of like chilled out did nothing I'm having my first glass of wine now I'm ordering a little bit of lunch Tonight we're gonna go to a restaurant called The Wood End. It's in Belmont Hotel. So we're gonna catch a taxi and leave this resort and go somewhere else. I thought it would be nice to kind of, um, just kind of like go somewhere else. I also, there's a St. Regis and an addition here that just opened and I heard, like I saw the addition and it looks amazing. So I want to try and go over there and see what it looks like. It would be nice to have a date night with my husband, but if we do have a date night, we'll probably have to get a sitter. Um, but we shall see. So today is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. We still will have only two more days. How many days? We should have did six days instead of five days. It's just that I'm working on a project when we get back and I have to get home. But I'm so, I'm so annoyed because the kids don't have school for two weeks. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So. So tonight we are at Belmont Hotel. We're going to have dinner. It is a lunar eclipse. And okay, lunar eclipse is tomorrow, but it is a full moon tonight. I wish you could see the ocean. Like the way the moon is lighting up the ocean is amazing. So I heard this restaurant that we're going to is delicious. I believe it's called Wood End. I hope they have something that the kids will eat. They said they have a kids menu, so. I think we'll, we'll be okay there. <gasps> Look at that ocean. Do you see it? Wow. Muchas gracias. Es un placer. today we're supposed to go to we're supposed to take a boat out and that goes snorkeling all of us as a family in this little lunch bowl like this whole vibe over here is so nice um i missed the lunar eclipse last night there was a lunar eclipse that i wanted to see especially because it was a full full gorgeous moon over here but the sun just came up and I think that the lunar eclipse happened around midnight and then it stayed until 5 a.m. 5.30. I was locked out. Usually I get up at 5. I had no idea though. Uh, so I just ended up sleeping. But it is Monday and we still have two full days left. So my husband went and got me a coffee. The kids are still sleeping. We're just out here kind of having a little adult time. The furniture here has been amazing. 
interesting. I have to show you some of the furniture, but I was just taking pictures of the table. Do you guys ever take pictures and use Google images? It is my favorite, favorite thing. So for example, say you see someone wearing something online and they didn't link it or whatever the case may be, all you have to do is screenshot it and open up your Google app in your phone. You have to have the Google app. Open up the Google app in your phone and, and click on the images in the search box and then put the image in there. <clears throat> Literally, the outfit will come up and tell you where it's from and how much it is and with a link. So I use it for furniture. And so whenever I see furniture at restaurants and things like that, I always take a photo and I try to find it. It's life changing. I love Google images. Anyway, I went to say good morning. Getting ready to go to the pool, showing off today's swimwear. So this is by this is by same same swimwear. Only that these are a little bit long, so I just went ahead and kind of like tucked them in a bit now i need your help so i have this skirt the skirt is from old navy and i really like the knit part of it but should i wear this it's like just like a little cover up i just the only thing is i can't put it over or else it's going to be a little bumpy looking i don't know i think it looks really good here or should i just do this. These pants are from Lejeune's. I think I like these. Or do we like either one of these? Should we do something completely different? <laughs> I mean, it's just a cover up. I can't figure it out. Good morning. I am off to the spa this morning. I'm gonna get a nice little massage. Maybe I'll take a cold plunge dip if I'm feeling into it. But today is my last full day. We leave tomorrow. I'm just gonna take it super easy and just chill and relax. Oh, there's a little art show. Let's stop in there. I love this property so much. Wood therapy, baby. So chic in here. This little setup is really nice. How beautiful. I love this table. Yeah, Do you know who made it? Uh, yes. Uh, older. We have all the, the towers and everything. It's in the store and it's in Tulum. Let me find the, the name. The yes, name please. Of the store. I would love that. Yes. Okay. Carrot. We have hibiscus uh, water today, carrot uh, juice, or uh, chamomile tea. Can I try the carrot juice? Yes. It's very fresh. This is all so beautiful. This is all from Tulum? Yes. Everything. Oh my gosh, I love. <gasps>
Thank you so much. Beautiful. Okay, I just finished the massage. I have all the lines from the bed on my face. All my freckles are out too. Can I just tell you that massage? I got a, um, a hot stone massage with deep tissue. She said I really needed it because I had so much tension in my body. Out of this world. Like the massage was out of this world. It feels so, so good. And it was a perfect day to do it because there's an overcast today. So I don't feel like I'm missing out at the pool or anything. I just feel really good and I got some snacks over here I have some carrot orange juice I also have this hibiscus tea I'm gonna go home so relaxed and ready to get back to work too close okay. he's playing a game of chicken with you Rio Rio leave him alone Come on, Mia. Fine. they said to leave them alone because they can whack with their tails you see all those spikes on the tails daddy used to feed one. okay but we're not gonna go with daddy's info Rio, I'm dead serious. Leave that iguana alone. We don't mess with Mother Nature. You let them do their own their own thing. I, know I, I mean, am. wildlife. He's just staring at me. Yeah, because he's trying to see what moves you're gonna make. Let's leave him alone. He was out here minding his business, just getting a little sun. All right, buddy, we're gonna leave you alone. Okay, there's a soccer game going on. Rio, London, my husband are playing. I'm gonna go take a walk, but. My husband decided to tell everybody at the resort to come down here at 5 o'clock and play soccer. I think this is super cute. Look at Rio. Go! Alright, there was an overcast today as you can tell, but it is still super beautiful. So let's take a little walk. I know it's windy so you probably can't hear me, so I'll just shut up. still playing soccer. I'm in the middle of the ocean. I'm on my fake yacht. I'm on a yacht. I'm on a yacht. I'm just out of here. All by myself. I mean, does this, it does seem a little scary. It's a little isolating. SOS if you needed help and a big ass wave came over here. I'm trying to stop with the negative thoughts, but you know. Ocean scares the out of me. It is unknown. Thirsty. Poor baby, he must be so. 
so thirsty. Let me go get some water. I'm over here not parenting at all. Wait, throw the ball, actually. It's our last day. It's not even our last day. It's our last morning, like last hour. We're getting ready to go to breakfast. I wore a bathing suit, but I packed everything else up. I have broken out into a crazy rash. I don't know what it is. At first I thought it was, you see it? Yeah. It's all on my sides. It's all under my arms. It's on my back. At first I thought it was heat rash, but now I'm starting to think I'm just allergic to something. Maybe the detergent, I have no idea. It itches so bad. I need a Benadryl and some calamine lotion. Good morning. Can I grab some food? Enjoy our last morning. That's it. Oh, it's 43 degrees in New York and it's 81 degrees here. So it's going to be basically half of what it is here. It's so cold there. I don't want to be cold. I want it to be summer. I'm ready for summer. I definitely am not interested in the cold. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, so nice out here, right, London? Yeah, I can help cut it. And just small pieces. Sure. Oh my God, that is so good. Mm. Can I have half? Real, give me your pancakes. I really want a lot. That passion fruit honey. Wow. Here, Rio, record me cutting your pancakes. Know what is going on but I am breaking out in a rash everywhere look at this uh, and it, it just so bad it's all on my neck let me flip it around so you can see it this is not looking good guys I never break out in rashes look at this it's literally all on my neck it's starting to go on my arms um, sorry some of my leg it's it's definitely all over. I can't turn around because I'm holding my phone. I don't know what I'm allergic to. It seems to be getting worse. We're on our way to the airport. I'm packing up. I'm going to get some Benadryl and see if that works, but I, I'm so itchy. I don't know what to do. Okay, wish me luck. I don't, I really have no idea what I could possibly be allergic to. Um, I don't, I don't typically have sensitive skin. I am allergic to penicillin, but there's no, I haven't had any penicillin. I'm wondering if it's possibly the fabric. Um, I mean, the, the soap that was used to wash the sheets. Cause originally I did think it was heat rash, but now I'm like, I, yesterday I stayed out of the sun and it just, it seems to be like getting, going up more, like more and more on the neck area. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I wanna go home now. We're going home. Did you have a good time? Yeah. Is that even a question? All right. It's time for us to go home. Exactly. Let's roll.